Okay, I want to highlight something to you or remind you of something in ChatGPT. This is really important. Here's the summary. It does not have access to the internet and it does all its data finishes in 2021. So it does not have access to information after that. All right. I think you know that about ChatGPT, but over the weekend I was seeing some Twitter threads and someone was saying in ChatGPT Plus, which I've got here, I've got ChatGPT Plus, oh, they've opened it up to the internet. And I think someone got confused because the results they're getting, I'm going to show you some results which would convince you that it does have access. At the same time, Microsoft's released their Bing chat, which does have access to the internet. So ChatGPT, just a reminder, it doesn't, as I record this on the 19th of February, it does not have access to the internet. But let me show you a fascinating example of how it convinces you that it does. So here I've said, give me a link to an interesting blog post. It's come back with this one from Wait But Why in 2014. And then I said, give me a new one. Sure, here's a new one. Farnham Street blog, 2022, February. Wow, that's interesting. And it tells you what it's all about. And you're like, Okay, so this is 2022. Maybe it does have. So if you've been primed to think, yeah, it's got access to the internet. Oh, wow. Chat GPT Plus has got it. Oh, wow. Then you say, give me the most recent article from TechCrunch. Here we go. 17th of February. SpaceX launches astronauts beta test internet satellites. Wow. It covers the recent development. It discusses... PaySec's recent launch of astronauts to international space. Wow, this is incredible. I didn't know about this. I didn't know. Anyway, so then you keep going. You go, give me the most recent article from Get Organized Wizard. So it says, oh, look, actually, don't know that. So, oh, sorry, I meant dub, 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 Get Organized Wizard. Anyway, here it comes. Here we go. 10 expert tips for organizing your closet once and for all. Get Organized Wizard 2023, 10th of February. Uh, so February, 10 expert tips. I'm like, wow. Hang on, published on the 13th of February. Offers practical advice for all. Organi- wow, what is the main point of this article? Main is off it tells me all about it. What are the 10 expert tips that it's got? Here's the 10 tips. I'm like, wow, this is incredible. Um, let's actually just go and have a look at this article. So, because I've been looking after content, I didn't know we'd written this article. Let's go and have a look at that. Oh, hang on, page not found. Oh. oh, maybe I got the maybe it got the URL wrong. We've changed it. Let's go to the blog. Hang on, the last one was the tenth, the first of February. Transform your habit. No, hang on. Well, what about ten expert tips for organize? Let's actually just have a look. Did we actually ever have that? Um, let's actually just go site get organized wizard.com just check if it was ever there hang on no it was never there oh so this is interesting it's it's saying it was, did we delete it well hang on let's just go have a look at this TechCrunch article let's actually have a look at it oh page not found oh that's interesting let's just have a look maybe they've changed the URL let's have a look for it Space, oh, hang on, June 2020, there's an article around it, nothing recent, in fact, let's just go uh, more, um, sorry, tools and just go past month, let's say, no, no, there's nothing there, okay, you can see where I'm going, right, Farnham Street, let's have a look at this one, finding purpose in life, not found, Oh, okay. So you see what's happened. It's totally made it all up. None of this exists. It's made it all up. And so convincingly that by the end of this, when I'm like, oh, wow, there's the 10 points it had in the actual, uh, it's made it all up. And really why? Because the prompt was, give me a link to an interesting blog post. It's interpreted as just make up what a link for an interesting blog post would be. Just create something. I've fallen into confirmation bias and thought this is true. And it's not the whole thing's made up. So what's the learning from this? Well, first of all, just want to remind you, 
if you're seeing all these people on Twitter getting excited that ChatGPT is connected to the internet and there was thousands of people talking about it, they all got fooled as well, all right? So it's almost like, yeah, the main skill besides knowing how to prompt ChatGPT is knowing how to fact check it. So how do we use this? So one thing that we can do is we can actually interpret this. It's almost as though saying, what would our latest blog post and get organized with a wizard be? Oh, wow. That's actually a good title. That's actually some good points. ChatGPT, because it's had access and uh, get organized wizard goes back a decade, has had access to all that data pre-2021. All that data, it's kind of said, this is the next most likely post that it would do. We could actually write a blog post about this. It's based on our content. We could get that and say, here's a summary post about 10 expert tips, right? So here's how we can use it. So it's not completely useless, but take away from all of this. Be very mindful. Um, if you're following experts on Twitter or YouTube and that, they're falling for mistakes as well. It's rapidly evolving. And, you know, in a week, who knows, maybe ChatGPT will be connected to the internet and this will all become a moot point. That's what I want you to think today, as Sunday, 19th February. Just be very wary about this. Um, we can use it to our advantage, but let's not be fooled by it.